Okay, guys, we got this Mazda right here. Um, it's a Mazda 3, I think. Mazda 3? Yeah, Mazda 3. I guess they jump started it backwards. So when you come in here, I didn't get to scan it yet. I was getting ready to scan it. Um, oh, it's manual too. So uh, when you press this, nothing happens on the start button. I think you have to hold your key up here. Or do you, Oh, no. I guess they said you had to put the emergency key in. I think that might have been it. They say it a little bit. I don't remember what they said. This, and then my dad brought it in here. Did we just stick the emergency key in. It might have a chip in the emergency key. There we go. So and then it runs really rough. They said, like right now, it's like misfiring. You can see. Your RPM gauge is jumping around. And then I guess you gotta keep pressing it multiple times to turn it off. There we go, so we got it on. I wanna scan this. We're gonna use the auto fix. Okay, let's scan it. And then uh, I wanna check some of these fuses. So I'm wondering if they blew like a main fuse or something. I'll let this scan. Where's my test light? Got a test light right here. Oh, why is it under 40? Weird. There we go. So while that's connecting, we'll uh, start testing some stuff. So these are all good. It's weird though that they said they jump started backwards and the alternator fuse ain't even blown. They like almost always blow. There we go. Has it or not? Does this have a blind spot? Doesn't look like it. Oh, and it did have dynamic stability. We can always exit out and go back. Start checking our fuses here. Oh, we got one blown fuse right there. Keep checking these. Check that fuse out. What is this one for? 15 amp. It says room. It says room. Let's see. Just like this has tire pressure. We want to do a scan this car. So we'll let that scan. We'll get the fuse out. Oops. Dominator is how many miles are on this thing? I thought I would have pulled it. 177106. 
see if we can save our license plate. Okay. There we go. Now let's look at our codes. Torque calculation. Lost communication with anti-lock brakes. Got a lot of codes in here. Let me print this out and we'll look, I'll get a fuse and we'll look up to see what this room fuse power. Okay guys, according to this, it powers the air conditioning, door locks, interior lights, sound, navigation, instrument cluster, body computer warning, and memory system. So, okay guys, so let's quick erase all these codes. And then we'll see if our push start works, because it's probably going to work now. There we go. Let's take this key out. There we go. Car's powered down. Look at that. Now it powers up. Why is this? Is this button not messed up? There we go. So we shut it off. Let's try starting this. Look at that. Go back. Let's do a full code scan. See if we get any codes now. Looks like we got some codes. Lost communication with ABS. No restraints. Okay, but it's running. Um, let's check our fuses. Again, maybe with it running. There might be some good ones in here as well. None of these big ones up there that's running. I don't even know if this had an ABS like before or not. Let's check all these. There might be some blown fuses inside the car. Okay, so these are all light bulbs. Okay, so let's go inside the car and check these. Looks like somebody was already in here. Covers off. Um, where is the cover? Oh, it looks like somebody got a fuse there. Where's the cover? Can I just the door? No. Hmm. That'll be a problem because I want to know what was there. Usually, if you jump start a car backwards. You almost always blow like the radio or the uh, the radio or the uh, oh, let's see, or the amp fuse. It's weird that there's no uh, you know, fuse cover. I'm gonna look this up. 
We'll look up the ABS fuses. So it looks like the uh, room fuse, like all these fuses are underneath the hood here, but they were all good. I don't think any of them are missing. No, it doesn't look like any of them are missing. And they, I guess that's the replacement one that they got that goes inside there, but that's not blown, so... Why is it saying no problem with ABS? No, we cannot talk to the ABS. So I gotta figure out why we can't talk to this ABS module and why we gotta press this so many times to get it to turn off. So I'm going to look into this and then uh, update you. Okay guys, I found the fuse cover on the other side. So this top fuse that's not used or missing is for Bose. I don't know. If, I don't think this has a Bose stereo system. Oh yeah, it does. It does say Bose. But um, there's a uh, electronic steering lock fuse that I guess isn't used on this probably because it's manual. But if you look below it right there, that one right in the middle of the screen, that says it's supposed to be SAS. And I guess that's steering angle sensor. And if you look, there's a, it looks like the 15's in the wrong place. It's supposed to be overworn. That's the only one that I saw in there that wasn't right. Cause this AFS fuse, that isn't used in this car. So let's get a, get a pair of pliers and move that over. This fuse isn't blown. Move that over and see what happens now. Oh, now it turns on and off. Look at that. So that works. Let's go in here. Oh, now we can read the anti lock brakes. That's weird because I didn't see that on the diagram. Hey look, we have no lights on the dash. Let's do an auto scan. I think we might have fixed this. Maybe once he inspected, his inspection runs out next month. There we go. Oh, restraints control got one code. Let's see where our code is. Battery voltage low. Let's see if we can clear that. There we go. Shut this off. Let's try starting it up again. Now it's starting up nice and fast. Do one more scan. Maybe this person got lucky. They didn't break anything. Let's see if the radio works.
on here and on the radio. On here, static. Let's see. Let's go to the radio station right now. No, we might need that fuse. Let me go see if I can get a fuse for the radio and see if that makes a difference. Okay, guys, this might be a little loud here, but apparently. We'll take that fuse back out. I put a 31 fuse in there, but with everything else, start this car up. I'd say, I'd say we were good to go. He might have damaged the amp, or that might have been a problem before, because I don't see a blown fuse sitting in here. So look at that. This was kind of a quick one. There we go. So, I hope you guys like it. See you later.